So this just led me from one country to another to also go there and, and study this amazing music. Because in Iceland, we've, we've had a lot of American influence here throughout the years. Okay. Which is, which, which is fine, you know. It's, but uh, nobody, there are not very many people here who take their influence from like European cultures, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're we, very similar here. In... Yeah. Especially here, because we, we had the, after, after World War II, we had the American army base here. Ah. And so, so people were always looking for the American stars and, and the American culture, which is fine. But, yeah. but uh, I, I wanted something different as well. I, I've also, of course, you know, through pop, rock and, and jazz, you know, studied uh, uh, American American culture, which is which is great culture, but mm. there's so much other great stuff. Yes. In Europe, you know. That really is, yeah. 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 So this this is my story, and and almost before like uh, 2017, I, I did a couple of solo albums with jazz, uh, jazz solo albums. Yeah. But uh, it really, when I got this idea in in 2016 to to take the old Icelandic folk song yeah. and, and and like uh, uh, write my own melodies to the folk song okay inspired by these strips that I've taken you know gorgeous idea yeah I think it's a really good good idea so I, I've it's like uh, you you have like original three or four parts in in each songs and one of them only one of them is is Icelandic folk song because some of these folk songs were, were gathered like a long time ago and sometimes they're just like eight bars or 16 yeah. bars or something. So, so it's kind of, it's always kind of hard to, to, um, uh, you know, teach or, 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 so I've like made it into a big song with a big arrangement. Ah, okay. And so you're you're taking these Icelandic songs. You've written the melodies yourself. How are you kind of bringing in the Eastern influences in the arrangements? Yeah, um, I, I've like what I've learned in the past. You know, in my my journeys to the East. So the my my I, I just uh, back in ni nineteen hundred uh, around nineteen hundred or five or something. There's this book of Icelandic folk songs. So what I did, I, I took that book and I was just looking at the lyric and, and uh, the meaning of the song and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and how, how beautiful the melody was and yeah. in what mo mode it was or scale and, and just, so I, I just gathered like 10 or 15 Icelandic melodies for uh, every album. Yeah. And then I just started to write around that and, and it was influenced by Eastern music because um, and then I uh, have friends you know very good friends in these countries and yeah and uh, they helped me arrange it you know and when you bring bring players from these countries it immediately sounds Turkish or Bulgarian yeah. or Iranian because of the, yeah. the, the flavor of the instruments yeah so all of the three albums in the trilogy I made the trilogy of, of of uh, records. Mm -hmm. First was made with Turkish musicians, mm -hmm. and second with Bulgarians, and now the last one with Ira Iranians. Yeah. And I made three, and I, I like made a box around uh, <laughs> all of these. So it's like yeah. it's a statement. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful idea. I I love it, and I particularly love the singer who's singing the Icelandic songs. I can't pronounce her name, but she's got. A beautiful voice hasn't she she's amazing yeah yes her, na her name is Siri Tolla she, she, she's like a yeah she's an amazing singer she's a very very special and a good friend and oh you know. yeah yeah and I wanted to ask you about how have you taught yourself to play these instruments how, how did I teach yes just it's just back to basic you know really yeah. of course you know as a as a, a a guitar player for that many years you have muscle memory uh, for for these 
but there are so many different ornamentation and different so i really have had to you know practice thousands of hours on these instruments yeah. because it's really really hard so mm -hmm. you know it but it it just been uh, such a you know i wake up every morning to to start to practice oh you know. brilliant yeah, yeah because it's such a how do i say it's it's such a nice feeling to 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 get something new like this you know yeah into your into your career and and style it's i'm just very very fortunate you know and yeah i'm just so glad that i said yes to to my friend <laughs> boris laskurovsky 10 years ago <laughs> and also when people hear this story they just uh, they can't believe it because yeah. i've been to iran and india and uh, turkey many times to morocco and greece and bulgaria and 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 not just to just to play but also to study because i feel that you know we we are never done studying you know as a, yeah. as a human being and as a as a musician so it, it's never it's an endless journey you know